Hello, this is Gio, and today our project is going to be to install this Cadet Register Plus Heater. Now this is a 240 volt Cadet Heater. Uh, it does have a range, but uh, uh, we're hoping for the 1600 watts, and it's going to be attached to a thermostat um, uh, on a different wall. But we're going to be installing this right below this window right here in this wall right there and let's get started and here's the heater out of its uh, box you could see the heating unit it actually it, uh, uh, the heating portion comes out and this is what's called generally a cold box this is what goes inside the wall your cover your instruction manual and based on what I'm getting from the instruction manuals we want the uh, the cutout to be 12 and three-fourths inches wide and six inches uh, high and, uh, and this cold box will just fit into the wall like this and you'll secure it to the wall and um, and they want at least uh, four and a half inches off off the ground so we'll go ahead and mark on our wall find the studs mark on the wall uh, where the hole should be and we'll go ahead and cut the cut the hole now to get a sense of what I'm dealing with here, I do know that there's a 2x4 on the bottom of this wall here. So I sort of uh, place it on here and this is what gives you, here let's grab the tape. This is what will give you your minimum of 4.5 inches. But I kind of want it a little higher. Uh, I could be as uh, close as about one foot to the rim of this window. And so I'm going to just place another 2x4 here, just like that. And I think that's probably a better position. So when I open up this wall, <coughs> I'm actually going to install a new 2x4 on top of the old one. So I'll have to cut that to size. But so I'm flipping this around just like that. You can kind of see uh, where the lip is. And I'm just going to mark the bottom and mark the top. To, to guide me on my top and bottom marks. So I did mark my hole, but I did want to cut kind of a test spot just so I could verify where the the bottom was and making sure no wires were around and making sure that I my actual opening is no surprises that I will encounter. So now that uh, I'm, I felt around, made sure that I'm uh, in a good spot, I'll go ahead and finish my cut all the way around. And there you go. And as you can see, this is a uh, exterior wall, so there is insulation here. And we'll have to remove uh, the insulation underneath and pretty much from about here on down. So the hole's pretty much done. I did cut off a little bit of a 2x4 to put that spacer in there. I'll go ahead and nail that in. But first, I want to make sure that our box fits in there well enough. Try to do this with one hand. And, and I think it does. I might need to trim it a little bit here. Well, maybe not actually. It kind of fits pretty well. So uh, we'll just get that adjusted in there. But first we have to get the power in. So I'm going to go ahead and nail uh, this 2x4 down there for support and then get my power in. I'm actually going to bring up the power from the floor here. I took off the floorboard and brought it up here. But you'll have to find uh, your own way to get your power in. So what this does use is a 240 volt uh, power supply. Uh, and so I'm going to bring in a um, 20 amp, uh, off a 20 amp circuit. Uh, basically uh, there'll be two hots and a ground. So a three wire system. So I'll go ahead and wire that up and uh, and continue with the installation. Okay, so I got the power line supply in here, and again, it's a 240 uh, volt line, 20 amp. And so I popped off one of the axis holes here, and I'm just going to feed this in and kind of fit it in.
Okay, and now I secure the box to the stud that's on the side. So the next step is just to wire it all in. I'll go ahead and strip the wire. Now these don't have any power into them yet, so this is just fine to do. I would not recommend doing this with power on. There you go. Now these are going to be the two hots, and it's just going to be the ground. There's no common or neutral in this uh, wiring. And so here is the heater. And so here's the two hot leads. And then the ground just goes to the box right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and wire up the ground first. So let me make this a little bit smaller here. And I'm just going to use the cap here. And back, I just like to use a little electric tape to better secure these on always. You don't have to do this, but I just find it a little extra security. And then we'll go ahead and wire the two hot wires. Now you don't have, to, now it doesn't really matter which, which one goes on to which. And again, I like to use the tape. Okay, now that these are all properly wired in, you take this little screw here, take it out, and then you install the heater on the left side of the case. Make sure all the debris out pushing the wires to, to the right side of the case. And then go ahead and re replace the screw that you just removed. Just like that. And that should keep the heater in place properly. And then you just want to fold Back all the wires in, kind of out of the way. And then you can just go ahead and install the faceplate. And there you have it, your cadet heater is installed and ready to uh, give you many years of nice warm heat. I hope this helped you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.